All right, uh, welcome to the Mixed Fuel Garage, and we are working on the 98KX today. I actually got a recluse clutch for it. I've been having some problems with the clutch in this one. It drags a little bit. Uh, I know that the basket is not. I've already filed it one time a little bit, and I don't want to do it again. I do have a new basket. I bought a Pro X basket for it. That's the new Pro X basket that's going in it. I uh, bought the recluse clutch for it. I wasn't going to buy the recluse clutch for it, but I actually found this brand new, as you can see. It's never been used on eBay. He had it up for 425 bucks, and I ended up getting it for 375. So we're gonna get that installed. I already took the clutch cover off. You don't have to take your rear uh, brake lever off, but I do just to get it out of the way, but you can do it without that. They're not on there very tight. I looked up all the torque values. They're only on there at nine. Did you ever think about pulling the clutch? Hmm? <clears throat> I thought we were doing things the hard way. Why do you want to do everything the easy way today? Some of the plates came off with it. So we're going to make sure we keep a hold of the pressure plate. And that's it. So I got them all out. This thing's gonna come out. All right, so now we gotta get that nut off of here. All right, I don't have a clutch pulling tool, so I have an old belt. It's my old black belt. So I put that on there, and we're gonna hopefully it'll hold it so we can get this off, and I just clamped it with a pair of ice grips. We'll see what happens. Okay, there we go. It spun a little bit, but then it grabbed a hold, so. So there's the nut is off now. There's a washer right here. We gotta make sure we take that off. The inner comes off and all the parts fall. So this was behind there. All right, so this slides off and then uh, with the new basket, I need to put this kickstart gear back on. Drilling it out is probably gonna be the easiest way. So I'm gonna have to drill these out. All right, so I got my drill press. I got this all set up. I'm drilling these out so we can uh, get this off of here. Got my gloves, got my safety glasses on. have this one that's kind of holding on a little bit here that's the one I didn't get all the way out and it's uh it's holding on there for dear life there we go so then there's all your push bearings and I have all new ones that came with the new kit straight off. I'm gonna have to find something to go around the outside of this and then put a socket, find a socket of about that size there and press it out with my vise. So we got the new basket. Uh, I got the piece pressed in. I had to go up to the neighbors and use the vise. He has a bigger vise. I just put a bigger socket on the back and a smaller socket in that kind of fit inside just there. Um, and I pressed the old bearing right out or the old gear out and I pressed the new gear in. So this is the uh, kickstart gear here this piece is just laid on there and then these go right in there so i'm going to press all these in the new basket came with the screws and it came with this little end right here to put your screws in and they get torqued down at nine newton meters so i'm just going to go around and hopefully press all these in here i just did that one and it went pretty I good might use a, i might spray one of these with a little bit of silicone and see if it goes in any easier Probably end up making my fingers. So I can't. Looks like it went in 100% easier. Yep, looks like it went in a little easier. These should be in far enough though. Cause I'm gonna be putting that plate on and tightening that wow, plate. Wow, you on. just spray the. I can just spray in here. Oh yeah, that goes, that's a lot better. So I just sprayed some silicone on there. This is the first time we've ever done this. So I just put these in and just use the drill on the torque setting on the lowest so it didn't put them in too far so they're all in and then you're supposed to crisscross so this says nine newton meters it's on newton meters so we'll go down to nine here so there's nine so crisscross pattern it says once i get that in there so 
So that's all together. All right, so it says you're supposed to peen these over where they come through. These ones don't come through all the way, so I'm just taking a little punch. I'm just gonna do like the edge of it so that way it can. Uh, basket's all ready to go back in. Got everything, so my bearings are still just sitting in there, so we should be able to just slide this right on. Line, yep, it lined up with kickstart gear. Yep. Okay, so we got the basket in. We got our big washer goes on there. The inner clutch basket goes on. Your outer washer. All right, so we got then uh, the nut goes on, and then you got to torque that down to 98 newt meters, which I think is about 72 foot. Pounds. All right, so we're putting the basket protectors in. It says to have these on the inside. So you're just going to have this down. All right, I'm going to start that one in there, and you're just going to slide them right in. There we go. All right, so you start on the KX, you start with a friction first, and then you go to the steel, then friction steel, friction steel. The little uh, basket protectors were kind of holding it, so you gotta. All right, so this is the meat and potatoes of the recluse clutch. This is what does all the work. This is the last piece that goes in, and then I could put the pressure plate on. Slid in here, hopefully. Some of these basket protectors are gonna be in the way and I'm gonna have to move them somehow. There we go. So that's, that's in now. Now we can put our rod back in. That gets slid in there. All right, and then I'm gonna use the old bolts with the new spring and these get torqued down to nine. Uh, I kept the recluse as stock. Uh, you can see they give you springs. You can mix, mix and match these. They give you an extra spring retention uh, thing there. You can put all reds in, all blues, or you can do half reds and half blues depending on how you want it to come in. I'm just gonna leave it stock. Yeah, it's the for the way that it engages, either a soft or a hard engage. I'm just gonna leave it stock, which I think is the soft. No, stock is medium. Okay, so stock is medium. So stock is medium. That's what I was just told by the resident. The resident, the resident backyard mechanic just told me that. Actually, Smite has already done this, so he do, he does know. I don't. That's my first time. All right, so uh, we got all that in. I didn't tighten them down yet. You're gonna crisscross them again. We got the torque wrench set to nine. Doesn't take much. We just stuck the bike in gear is all we did. All we gotta do is put our clutch cover back on. Make sure that you're. It's got a little pin there. Just gotta make sure that it stays in put. Sometimes it doesn't like to, the gasket likes to move. Okay, so that's good. So basically what I did is I just turned this all the way in and this one all the way in until I had a little bit of gap there. And then according to the instructions, it says the clutch should be tight against the perch. If not, adjust the clutch so that the lever is tight and then turn the cable and or perch adjuster three to five turns tighter. So that's what I did. So that's where we're at. So now I should be able to start the bike up, let it warm up a little bit, and then we'll check for free, free play gain. All right, so we got the clutch installed. Everything's on there. We ran it through a couple test runs and broke it in. So here we have it. We're in first already. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this notification and click subscribe if you're on YouTube. Have a nice day and God bless.